that is quick update regarding the issue that i was speaking on prior regarding the hs2 rail here in the uk which unfortunately has now been confirmed to be scrapped um richie sunak our uk prime minister spoke about it at the conservative fucking thing that they go, got going on in manchester i'm not sure what the hell it's called but who cares but he spoke about it over there but the interesting thing about it is that isn't politics interesting you got this amazing new rail line that's been proposed. What, what was it? I think they said like it was tw ten years in the making, or maybe even twenty years in the making. The idea behind it was to connect parts of the Midlands and up north with parts of the south, and allow this high-speed rail to connect London to Manchester and Manchester to other parts of the Midlands and shit, and to basically allow people in that part of the country to have a means to go to all these major cities near and around them without having to jump on trains that take two and a half hours to get there. So maybe a high-speed rail can take you from Birmingham to Manchester or leads to fucking Birmingham in maybe half or maybe a quarter of the time they will take you on a normal train. So that would also you know benefit the economy it allow people in london like myself to even maybe travel to those places more often you might have the ability to maybe um go and have a job in those type of areas it might allow then the employers to have ability to hire more high caliber employees it might increase the property price in those areas the prospects and the possibilities are endless but effectively what it would do is that it would boost the economy overall that's what it would do the conservatives come in and say nope it's costing too much we're going to scrap it because obviously they have a preference to the south all the time and they don't want to overspend and there's this really crazy north south divide that exists here in the uk which is odd cool richie sunak is it's going to be it gets leaked out it's going to be scrapped richie sunak is, is avoiding to fucking confirm it until he speaks he finally does confirm it when he speaks but then he then throws a weird kind of curveball out of nowhere he then starts talking about the trans issue and i'm like this is what politics is about, isn't it? Instead of talking about the things that actually matter to regular civilians, you start talking about culture war, hot button, social media topics to distract from the fact that you failed to fucking fulfill the promise of this high-speed rail line that would have benefited the lives of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people here in the UK. And instead, we are getting, in, we're getting into this fucking stupid mudslinging argument about trans issues that regular people on the street don't really give a fuck about. They don't care. They really don't. What they care about is looking after them themselves and their family. And they want everybody to live a fun, free life, wherever they want to do, for the most part. But of course, politics people know you throw out this little curveball and it does distract from the point of what you are there to do, which is help the you know, help your fucking citizens, right? And no, let's talk about culture war stuff. Absolutely heinous. Here's a clip of Rishi Sunak right after canceling the HS2 line, talking about trans issues. Absolutely weird. And it also shouldn't be controversial for parents to know what their children are being taught in school about relationships. Patients should know when hospitals are talking about men or women. And we shouldn't get bullied. <laughs> and we shouldn't get bullied into believing that people can be any sex they want to be. They can't. A man is a man and a woman is a woman. That's just common sense. Hey, yo, bro, we just want fucking high speed rail. We just want a train that can take us from London to Manchester to parts of other parts of the Midlands with ease. That's all we want. We don't care about these issues. Regular people do not care about these issues, honestly, especially now especially now with the economy being the way that it is, these issues really do fall down the list of priorities. Maybe in other times where maybe there is an argument to be had out there where people float out, sometimes I hear Joe Rogan talk about it, about, oh, people usually care about these cultural issues when times are good. I think it's been proven to be incorrect that statement right because times are bad now and people are still fucking you know shouting about um you know fucking trans athletes in sports about fucking you know uh non-binary um, toilets and stuff online stuff that really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things people are still wasting their time and energy arguing about it with randoms online who they don't know if that person's a 14 year old boy or a 60 year old man it's a nonsense really and the policies and things that they should be you know benefiting regular people they don't focus on and that's probably why i've never really had an interest in politics and why i don't follow it it's exhausting because the policies and issues that really do affect regular people they don't pick, pick, keep attention on it or pay attention to it because it's going to cost them something it's going to cost them money it's going to maybe cost them seats it might cost them votes it might cost them reputationally but talking about these nonsense topics just going around in circles 
it doesn't cost anything to speak continually about these nonsense things. It's really, really sad. Um, so this is a confirmation here, courtesy of Politico. It says, Richie Sunak scraps northern leg of the HS2 rail line. You see some uh, pictures here of the work that was going on at the time with the cranes. It says, a H2... A HS2, a multi billion pound high speed rail route to connect Leeds, Birmingham, Manchester to London, was announced by then Prime Minister David Cameron in 2013. Originally meant to connect the north of England to the capital of London, Sunak announced on Wednesday that the rest of the HS2 project will be cancelled. Refer ref sorry, referring to everything beyond a line from London to Birmingham in the mid um, in the West Midlands, sorry, which is already under construction. So the London to West Midlands train is still going to get done. Funny that, isn't it? Right? So the South still just wins at the end of the day. They scrapped the rest of it, but for us Londoners, we're still going to get some benefit. Great. In this speech at the Conservative Party conference in Manchester, um, the Prime Minister said the reigning 36 billion earmarked to HS2 will be instead reinvested into hundreds of new transport projects in the North and Midlands across the country. Absolutely false. I've got a feeling that a lot of that money will probably get misused and a lot of that money will probably end up in brown envelopes most likely allegedly announcing the changes sunak said i say that those who backed the project in the first place the facts have changed and the right thing to do when the facts change is to have courage to change direction we waste a lot of money on a lot of things in the uk i find it very interesting in that as soon as we're losing money on a project that benefits parts of the country that aren't just the south suddenly everybody becomes a everybody becomes financially prudent it's really crazy um, the Prime Minister said that he would be he would protect the 12 billion um, to link up Manchester and Liverpool as planned and also vowed to build a new Midlands rail hub to connect 50 different stations. He said that he would extend the West Midlands Metro, build a tram system in Leeds, and electrify the Northwest Mail Line, as well as in upgrading the series of major roads. All those things you could not do and just focus on connecting the HS2 and fulfilling that plan. Really and truly, if you think about it. You're probably going to spend just about as close enough the figure that you would have spent on building the remainder of it once it finally goes through then all these improvements that are just going to be band-aids on issues really and truly because that's something that we miss you know compared to europe europe has great high-speed rail parts of other parts of the world especially in you know in asia they have really really good um, um what you call high-speed rail also but we don't there's not a lot of high-speed rail connecting parts of you know regional parts of the uk with each other which is really strange when you consider everything that's going on with the country at the moment the prime minister said that da, da, da. um sunak vowed that he would create a new houston development zone wherein thousands of new homes will replace the current holdings uh, building sites from the hs2 terminal lines while hs2 is deeply controversial with some conservatives concerned with the spiraling costs and disrupting the move is likely to generate a backlash from local leaders of course it is and here's some of the backlash um you see hs2 will not go into houston without private funds so that whole houston line connection isn't going to happen until private firms step up and cough up the cash funny hilarious and then we've got a final here headline curse of bbc hs2 no new compensation for pain of people affected by the scrap rail because people obviously were trying to anticipate the launch of hs2 and buy properties um, start businesses whatever open offices there and now it's been scrapped it's put people basically in a red and now they've got homes and houses that are probably not going to be of any use to them because they can't get any money out of them. And of course, the government, are they going to offer compensation for these people? Of course not. Are they going to line their pockets with the money that's re remaining from this HS2 project that's been scrapped? Probably. Absolutely heinous. Absolutely heinous.